Ron Pandolfi is the candy man at the Phillips Candy House in Dorchester. He's the head candy maker, that is, in charge of whipping up and churning out the sweet things that make this little shop famous. Ever get tempted to eat the product? Oh, sure, definitely. Uh -huh. Everyone does. Uh -huh. Find a few missing uh, spots there. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. At Phillips, they still do things the old-fashioned way. The candy fillings are made fresh every morning. No additives, no preservatives, no shortcuts. It's been like that for 38 years. What's happening on this side? By the way? Well, what's happening over here is the completion of the, uh, of the process that we talked about uh, a few minutes ago. This may seem like a sweet job, but it takes patience and practice to perfect. No one, not even the best of them like Betty, learned overnight. How, how long did it take you to get, get this down? Oh, wow. <laughs> a month? <laughs> really? Really? You know, this reminds me, you, you ever watch the Lucy series? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It never gets that way here, though, right? Approximately. Oh, it does? Uh, once a week. Once a, oh, once a week, it does get kind of fast, huh? Yeah. Oh, who can take tomorrow? Who can take tomorrow? After the candy's been cooked and dipped and marked and packed, it still has to be sorted. Forty pieces to a box, hundreds of boxes a day, thousands of boxes each week. Oh, by the way, that's Mary Ann doing the sorting. Her grandfather started this business. She's a third generation sweet tooth who looks forward to seeing her children continue the tradition. I have three children in there in the business. My youngest one shows the most interested in manufacturing candy. Mm -hmm. He's very interested in getting in with the candy maker, Ronnie, and really working on things. The candy man makes everything he makes satisfying and delicious. Oh, God, that's awful. You sell this to people? Oh, I, I think you're pulling my life. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> what kind of candy do you want? Sweet chocolate, chocolate malt, candy, gumdrops, anything you want. You've come to the right man because I'm the candy man. In the chocolate business, Valentine's Day is a big deal, but it's not the biggest. Christmas and Easter produce more sales. But year-round, our appetite for chocolate is growing, up more than 30% in recent years. That's music to a candy man's ears. Would you say this is the sweetest job in America? It is. It is very sweet. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.